This is what your Chromebook's gonna look like. You're gonna open it up. You're gonna touch the touchpad to get it to turn on. If that doesn't work, you may need to press the power button. On the left-hand side, you are going to see a password card. The first thing on the password card is your child's name, followed by their username and password to log on to the Chromebook. The rest of the information on the password cards are usernames and passwords to play different games that we play in first grade. Here, you're gonna put your child's username. Your child's username is always their first initial followed by their last name and then the year that they will graduate from high school. Then you're gonna push next. Then you're gonna do their password. It's a very long number. It always starts with 865421, followed by a unique three digits for your child. It's probably going to open up Google when you log in. I'm going to exit out of it just in case it doesn't. If it takes you to this page instead, you're going to touch the beach ball down at the bottom. That will get you onto the internet. It will bring up Google again. Over here in the right corner, you will see a picture of your child. If you hover over it, it will bring up their name and their username, their email. Over here towards the left corner at the top, you're gonna see a house or a home. You're going to click that and it will take you to the first grade home page or website page. On this page, you can scroll down and see a reading section. You can also see math and then you can see some teacher resources. For this video, we are going to go over Google Classroom, which is this button here. It looks like a green chalkboard with some people on it. You're going to click that button and it will take you to Google Classroom. Your child is already logged into the first grade Google Classroom. You're going to need to add some other Google Classrooms as well for your special teachers. So gym, music, art, and computer. I'm going to I'll go back and do that again for you because I forgot to tell you. I'm going to touch the plus button up here to add another classroom. Then you're going to get a class code and we will provide that to you. For this one, we are going to enter in the computer code. So I've entered the code. Then I'm going to click join up in the corner, the big blue button. This is going to add us to the computer Google Classroom page. So this is the computer one. If I wanna get back to the first grade one, I can click these three lines over here and then I can see all the Google Classrooms that your child is in. This child is now in two Google Classrooms. We just added this one. If I click on this one, it will take us to the first grade Google Classroom. It will take you to the stream page. At the top, there are three different tabs. There's stream, classwork, and people. For the stream, it's just basically a news feed with any posts or announcements that the teachers put up. Then you can click over to classwork. Here are some assignments. Assignments will be posted at 6 a.m. every day and they will be due at 3 p.m. This is how your teachers are going to be taking attendance. So it's very important that they're all submitted by three. We added an assignment to show you how to turn in some work. So I'm gonna click on this assignment I'm going to click on view assignment. And here it's telling us that this is where we can turn it in when our, our work is done. So your child will click on the assignment here. Once they are completed with it, they need to click turn it in. Turn in. Now, if you wanna go back and check that for your child, you can always click unsubmit and it will bring it back. Unsubmit. And there they can edit it again. So I'm gonna turn it back in. Then I wanna go back to the homepage. So I'm gonna click on first grade up in the top left. 
I want to go back over to classwork. Now from here, that was the assignment we just turned in. Then there will be some other assignments going on. If you want to view your work, you can click here. And I can see these are the assignments that we have not yet completed. It still says assigned next to them. And then this is the one we just turned in. So it'll say turned in if it's completed. I can also click some different buttons over on the side. I can look at assigned work. So these are the things that have yet to get completed. I can look at returned. She shouldn't have anything returned right now. And then I can look at missing. So if you haven't done something by the due date, it will show up here. We can go back to the home page. The only other thing on Google Classroom that you're really going to need is over here at people. Here you will see your teachers if you need to contact one of us individually, or you can contact us on Blooms, and then you'll also see your classmate. So there will be lots of students listed here. Okay. So remember, if you need to go to a different classroom, you'll touch the three lines off to the side in the top left, and then you'll go to your other classrooms, making sure that you're going to your gym, your music, your art, your library, your art. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, please contact us on Blooms or through our emails.